Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4. We're about to declare war on Biryadia. Um, and... I've got an uprising that's going to happen here. Let's move everybody to there. I'm not going to wait on it. I'm just going to... Since I... I should have 14 from these guys. And I don't need another claim. I'll probably sit on it and loot and wait until uh, the cores are finished before doing anything. And if I can kill their army, I will... Uh, I'll go ahead and... Uh, make sure that... I get my guys down there to deal with the other revolts, especially the one in Korea, which is going to be very major. Uh, I may just end up increasing autonomy there uh, if I think I'm going to need to. Political capital. Protection from a powerful empire. Oh, yeah, this is what we had there. Uh, it gets enemies abroad in the military. It's sense. It also is a firm and clear signal to political groups of Arcana. It tells them that Arcana is sanctioned by the Emperor of the Ming. And lend some of his splendor to us. Stability. Yes. And I can actually convert things now, but it's still too expensive. And let's leave one of these, uh... Actually, is it better to just leave behind one infantry? Hmm. Oh, I can actually do uh, a decision now. Religious we'll sacrifices. Stability cost modifier, wow. Yeah, we'll do that. Lose force stability. Great. Great green standard army. The rulers of general have a green standard army. Is it war with Ming? Oh, okay. I have to war with Ming. So, no. I haven't seen, seen Ming uh, accept a call to arms. Let's uh, break off a couple of guys. Send them up here. Put general in charge, I guess. Actually. Oh. He doesn't have a siege pip, so. Oh. My other guy just died. Uh. Alright. Um. We'll wait until we can get that tech. You'd think they would make this like a dynamic thing. So it would change based on what your religion was. I don't know why they don't. It seems like it'd be a pretty th easy thing to do. Alright, let's test this. Well, I'm not testing anything really, but I just. I'm going to leave the guys there to see if it increases. Let's get these guys out of the province so that it revolts faster. Alright, let's put these techs. enough tech yet. I don't have enough points. I need points. There we go. Points. I'm guessing it'll warn me when I start to get too many too many techs and it'll give me a what's the word? Corruption. 
There we go. We'll get him. That was truly a terrible place to go. Should have just gone here. Whatever. This will just be added to the separatism that I'm going to get for these ones, so. No big deal. I also can buy a another general now, since one of mine died. Three shock. Pretty good. Did he have a siege pit? Oh, because you're in the, uh... He does. Okay. Do I have a, um, missionary? I do. Can't afford her, but I do have one. Okay, why is he locked? Why did he lock himself into that? Now I'm going to be defending. Uh, actually, I get a penalty that he doesn't. He's a Siberian guy, and well, it'd be far better to do this then. here, because there is still a, an uprising that's going to happen here. Eventually, yeah, pretty soon, pretty soon. So this doesn't even get any upress, uh, unrest. Oh, because it's just at a yeah, an uprising. Duh. Of course. <laughs> yeah, quite a bit of um stuff. It's like sixteen plus sixteen separatism. It's crazy. Cores on stuff that we, uh. Getting claims in Oirat? I'm not allowed to claim Oirat. I don't know why I'm bothering to do this. Hey, Mongolia. You should probably claim this stuff. Oh, he's got a claim on this. But I'm trying to be friendly with Car Caradel, their ally with Shagatai. He's pretty strong. Pretty strong. Let's do this then. Uh, no. No, no, no. Like this. And let's check Chagatai's. Yeah, they don't care. Caradel probably does, but they already want some of my uh, some of my vassals land will you ally with me are you already allied to me 
Man, she's a war. Yeah. Um, what am I at as far as... Four of four. Got a royal marriage with Oirat. That'll go away eventually. Royal marriage with Ming. Ashikaga, Mongolia. Yeah, okay. I don't even have space to, to vassalize these guys, so I'll just take their land. Whatever. I give this one to Mongolia. Unless this is the gold province. No, it's the fish province. Mongolia can have it, I don't care. Well, actually, it's, uh, it's one of my claims, so I might as well. As a horde, there's very real, there's very little reason not to, uh, already improving relations with them. Uh, there's very little reason not to take land most of the time. I don't make that sound. So how much is is this like major stuff that makes them do things? Alright, so we got cores and everything. Kalka separatists in Hulin. Yeah. Uh and that'll be done fairly quick. I'm still actually losing Horde Unity, so. I don't think my plan of looting this stuff slower is helping. And this will finish off our thing. And now we get our advisor cost cheaper, which is really, really good. So we finish this off. Um, reforming the government, which we don't have to do, is something I can do now. So I need 200 admin power, stability of 3, and horde unity. So I need a fuckload of admin power, basically. Or good events that raise my raise my stability. Um, I don't have to have a reformed government to do this, and this is something that just happens. The problem is, I have to do this after declaring war on me, right? Technology group changed Chinese. Does that? Uh, I think I'm already in the Chinese tech group. I don't know why that changes. Uh, no, I'm in the nomadic nomadic tech group, right? It changes your unit types. Uh, is all it does now. It doesn't say here anymore. I don't know. I don't know from a technical standpoint what it is. Persia. This one needs looted more. Okay. And then we can send most of our troops south to deal with the Korean problem. I'm tempted to build a fort here. But I know that's stupid, so I'm not going to do it. Oh, I, I should also start uh, fabricating claims on Korea, right? Why not? Right. Let's just loot for a couple of months. And then we will... Uh, we'll do um, our normal thing. Yeah, this will be done pretty soon. Just doing this for Horde Unity's sake. Alright, we just had a uprising end... ...somewhere. Korchin Separatist, so over here. Yeah. Ooh, this could be bad. Things would have been a little bit more 
safe if I had done humanism first, but whatever. Yeah, let's just loot this province out. Although I shouldn't have looted that gold province. Oh, it was unavoidable. It was the capital. I was already looting. Alright, while I was sieging, it was looting. Okay. One more month. Did my uh, horse let me go up? It did. Good, good, good. You're good, so. Yeah, that's definitely gonna happen well before any of this is gonna happen. And that should be enough troops to take care of it. You're dead. And then this should be the last thing I need to loot. There we go. That's barely, pretty much perfect timing there. Although it takes a really long time to get back. I guess it is winter time. So. Okay, so, give me all your stuff. And I'm just gonna, you know, go ahead and raise, 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 raising the gold province. Um. Let's not raise the gold province. Let's not do that. That sounds really stupid. <laughs> Actually, do I get uh, money for that? Nope, I don't. So, raising the gold province is stupid. Turn the fort off, though. And I'm gonna go ahead and raise the autonomy in these other non-gold provinces. I don't care. This one's going to get an uprising, but, uh, which means I probably shouldn't turn the fort off. But I'll turn it on when it's, uh, coming back. Alright. And apparently I'm not growing that province. Good. Good, good. Okay. Looking pretty good. When can I, uh, annex you? Next year. Start annexing you next year. Assuming they're not going to actually claim any of this stuff. They probably won't. It's not valuable enough as a, uh, a core. Most of their cores are in Ming, so... Although, I probably get more force limit from, uh, from having them as a vassal. Let's hem hang this, this province. Yeah, let's lower taxes. I don't mind. 95% autonomy? Whatever. Okay. Korean separatists. So that lowered revolts is like. Tax modifier. Let's have the three shock general here for this. Uh, 
All right. We're hanging around here so that, uh... Well, I suppose this isn't that big a deal. This Biryat Separatist is gonna happen in, like, six years. Mongol Tribes, no big deal. Korchan Separatists, two years. This will happen soon. Dude. It's really good. Right, I have a bunch of prestige. Um, I would get rid of this air if the, my Conum didn't have a crappy modifier. Huh. You know, I never thought about it, but... Once I get exploration, I can take out Anu if they're still covered up. That's, uh, it's not so for so much attrition to my own land, huh? Looks like my enemy is going to be Caradell, and not my rat. So you may want to ally Chagatai against Caradell. Oh, they're actually allied to Chagatai, so never mind. Never mind. Wow, that's a good province. That is going to get really, really raised. So we can claim pretty much everything except this island. Okay. 8%. Uh, most of this is just because my army maintenance is maxed out. Oh, my corruption. Yeah. Yeah. We learned about Berlin. Why did I learn about Berlin? I don't know. <laughs> I just learned about Berlin, though. <laughs> Yay! Berlin! This is definitely going to be the first one I claim, though. This might be the last one I take. Well, no. It'll be fine. Let's top of our relations with Ming in Ashikaga. Province. Archers with them runs out in 1505, so 10 years. We are at 90%. Let's move here. Oh, they're already coming up there. They have a bigger army than actual Korea. All right. The reason I wanted to go here is because this is uh, grasslands, so I get my my bonus. Okay, I'll wait for these troops to replenish since I'm not losing that much money. And we'll go ahead and lower my army maintenance. Check our revolts. It'll happen fairly soon. That'll happen eventually. I'm, I'm just... Well, wait. Why does it say... Oh, it's, it's gonna... It's a chance of rising up there, right. Because it's... Uh, part of the revolt. How big are these revolts gonna be? 18. It's pretty major. That's uh, pretty major. Okay. This 
Chris's cores are going to be finished soon. Get my next um, idea group at s seven. So I got to save my admin points to get text. Going to go for exploration, mostly for the colonist, but also to get some splendor. This was really wasteful. I, I shouldn't have gotten that. I should have gotten Justified Wars, but uh, whatever. It's not like anybody's been complaining. Oh, no! These Step Horde guys have been invading people. No, really. And again, it's probably not a good idea to be stating things. Oh, hey. It's probably not going to help, but, uh, hey. Alright. Are we getting any institution spread? Monk of the Duh. Well, I have some here. This is basically just pure adjacency for purposes of uh, spread, so we're not going to get it for a long time. Alright. So basically we're going to get minus 50 for quite a while. Several clan chiefs, clan chiefs have complained to us about a young man from the area leaving the clans and joining our own army. The claim is that it's not how it's done in the days that brought father. And that every man should turn his local clan's army first, which we do. Um, most of my army tradition from stuff is basically just getting generals from the guys, so I'm not worried about that. Although I did just do that. I could do that again. Uh, that actually seems pretty safe. But, um... I'd have to get rid of some of my crappy archers to do that. I got plenty of them! Hey, anyway, Rat, what you doing? Alright. So I can start annexing you, right? Yes. Annex you. This is going to be a lot of Buddhist stuff. Yeah, I think we will go humanism. Definitely. Because I'm gonna, that's going to be a big problem. Um, there's going to be... If I go after Japan, there's going to be a lot of Shinto stuff. There's going to be a lot of uh, Buddhist stuff. If I go over here, there's going to be Sunni stuff. Some uh, stuff here. Mill power. I'll maintain the diplomat with Ming, though. Uh, Confucian is obviously fine, which is going to be the vast proportion of our land, but uh, maybe I'll go religious. I don't know. There's a... There's a... Um, there's a, a an achievement called Blood for the Sky God, where you uh, have Nawadal as your um, your second religious, the second religion is Tengri. Obviously I'm not playing in Iron Man mode, so I couldn't, uh, this is Sakhalin, Sakhalin is useless, just, I don't know, trade power, whatever. How long is that going to take? How long? Um, can I get a statesman to make that take less time? Yes. I'm not even losing money while having it. Still want to focus on this. Uh, how much money am I making? Let's lower my army maintenance. And then get a... An advisor here. Will this actually help? Unrest definitely would. Uh, I got the money to try this out. Let's see if that actually does anything. 45 months? 
Okay. That's possibly okay. This is a place that's going to rise up anyway. So yeah, not bad. Not bad. Uh, okay. Is now a good time to start thinking about sailors? Um, I have to get to here to get the center of trade. But, I do control the vast majority, if not the entire Jiren node. I basically control the entire Jiren node. It's not worth a whole lot, but... I'm gonna need at least three light ships for exploration, so let's start. Let's start with six, six light ships to do stuff. Uh, we're gonna have to protect them against Korea, but I think that'll be fine. Right, so this will be done when? 1504. So right before our war with Korea. Okay. It's fine. Fortune Separatists. That's here. And these are going to be 18, right? Yeah. I don't care what Muscum does. Don't tell me that crap. Well, I, I think that'll have to wait until next episode. I don't know when they're gonna. I'll give them. I'll give this tick of the month to see if it changes to ninety percent, and I'll give it one more month after that. We'll wait till the end of the year. Actually, now that I think about it, I didn't tick. I didn't even like my truce hadn't even ended with Mongolia before. Yeah. So, um, as a step forward, don't take this one because. Uh, if you get the cheaper, well, it's not cheaper. It costs more. It's cost more war score wise. Okay, so where is this likely to, to pop? Um, well, I think I will end it here. I'll see you next time on Let's Play Europe Universalis Four. Playing as Manchu.